Hey everybody, this is Mark, and today we're going to be using TouchPal Swipe Keyboard for iOS 8. So with iOS 8, Apple allowed you to install third-party keyboards, and TouchPal is one of the first companies to bring their third-party keyboards to iOS 8, and this is a Swipe Keyboard. Yeah, Swipe Keyboard. We've been waiting for this forever. I'm so excited to have this in-house. Try this out. If you want to try this beta out, um, you can't really. It's a beta of the keyboard, and it's only open to press. You had to contact them and everything, and since we're press and we get to use this, but if you're a normal person running iOS 8, unfortunately you will not be able to try TouchPal at this moment. But anyway, this is the keyboard. All you need to do is switch your input to English. That was all shown in our last video on TouchPal. And it's pretty simple. All you have to do is just swipe. And it has suggestions at the top, just like before with the other keyboard that came with iOS 8. So the thing I like about TouchPal is that there's three ways that you can actually swipe. So the first way is, or not swipe, but type really. The first way is you swipe your word, then hit it and hit the word up top in your suggestions. Type again, or swipe again, tap the word, swipe again, and tap the word. Or this other way is to swipe your word and hit space, as long as it's highlighted white. Not you can choose your word, but all you have to do is hit space and that will insert your word. And the third way is not to swipe at all or not hit space or anything. You swipe and keep swiping again and swipe again and swipe again and swipe again without having to either, either ever hit your space bar or the word suggestion. The only problem I have with this is that it doesn't show you a live feed of what you're typing on the word. So for example, another app called Path Input lets you see your words without having to hit the suggestions or the space. So you don't really get to see what you're typing, so that's an unfortunate thing. One thing I love about the TouchPal keyboard is that you have some quick access keys. So on the top row and the bottom row, we have different actions. So the top row is numbers. So all I have to do on the top row is swipe up on that letter and we'll insert that number. So we have one, two, three, four, five, all the way down to nine and zero. And on the bottom right, we have some other like commas, explanation points, question marks, periods, colons, that type of stuff. And I think that's really sweet because you don't have to have the numbers and then do like an exclamation point. I really like that a lot. We also have this number thing on the side and it looks a little different than your sock. We get some other options and then we have numbers and some emoji. If you're not all that fan of the normal emoji, you can do some text ones. As well, we also have a number lock. One thing that I found interesting is that it does show a different color keyboard, for instance, a black one, when you're replying to text messages. So that's pretty cool as well. Since this is a beta, there is problems. And this is probably one of the biggest problems is it does not capitalize your first word. So for instance, when I'm replying to a text, it does not capitalize that first word. I have to hit the capital button myself. But when I do go ahead and type something out and then put a period, double space, and then type something, it does capitalize that. That's just a problem with the beta, but I know they'll be able to fix that in future versions. Well, that's all for this video. I really do love TouchPal, it's an amazing keyboard. There is a couple things that they could fix, but keep in mind, this is the beta. And when this does come out to the public, as well as iOS 8, I highly recommend that you go ahead and check this out. They're one of the first people to get in the game with beta keyboards on iOS 8, swipe keyboards. So big kudos to them. And go ahead and try this out when it does come out. Let me know what you think in the comment section. This is Mark, and have a great day.